In this demonstration, I'll be showing you one of the most important properties of ionic compounds, and that's their ability to conduct electricity in solution. That's why we call them electrolytes. First of all, what I have here is a light bulb that's connected by AC current being changed to DC current, and I'm showing two aluminum electrodes, and when I put them together, we know that there's free moving electrons in metals, so therefore conduction electricity or charge is very simple. Now there's a link to movement in conduction, and that link, of course, is to movement of electrons in metals, that's why metals conduct, Nonmetals don't conduct very well because they hold on to the electrons very tightly. That's why rubber wouldn't work. It's a good insulator. But metals, because they hold on to them loosely, allow electrons to repel each other and move charge along. But this is a little different demonstration. I'm going to start with water. And water that is deionized, it doesn't have any ions in it. And water is not a very good conduct electricity, as we can see. Okay? My little light bulb Ernie doesn't light up in pure water. It's only when we have free-moving ions in the water. So I'm going to take this water, and I'm going to add some... Oops, the reason why we're conducting here is I'm touching the metal top here. So um, I'm going to take this away. And again, I'm going to add some salt to my beaker. And I'm going to stir, as I would normally say, like a banshee. And by stirring... I'm creating molecule ion attractions or dipole ion attractions. The ions are free out of the crystal, and we should be able to conduct a charge in this solution. Not great, but it definitely goes on, and that's because of the ions that are able to move. The negative ions go to one side, the positive to the other, and charge is conducted. Now, it's not a great deal, but it certainly is not. If I add more ions, the charge should increase. And the light bulb is somewhat getting brighter, and I have to mix these. So as I mix them, that light bulb should get a little bit brighter, okay, until I get to the solubility point. Enough said there. Okay, now, back to, again, they're touching the metal, so they're going. Now going back into water, although I have some ions on here. It still should be not, not enough. So I have my ions here, and my free water. And now I'm going to add sugar. Now, sugar is not ionic. It does not break apart into ions. So therefore, my sugar is not going to uh, conduct electricity. So when I find my sugar, I'll be able to put some in a bucket, uh, put some in that beaker, so let me do that. So here we go. Put some sugar in here. And no matter how much sugar I put and dissolve, the sugar is not going to conduct because it's made up of nonmetals. Nonmetals do not break apart into ions, at least non-acids or bases. So therefore, this is never going to conduct. And one last test. Let's take this off. And let's add some solid sodium chloride. We notice that aqueous sodium chloride and also liquid sodium chloride would conduct because the ions are free. But if I put solid salt here, stick the electrodes in, the solid doesn't conduct. And the reason behind that is because the ions are locked in a crystal. The ions cannot move when they're locked in that crystal. So if I was to add just some water to this system, just water to the system, hopefully I dissolve some ions. And by dissolving some ions, I should get my light bulb to light up. So a nice demonstration of how salts, ionic compounds, are electrolytes because their ions are free to move. They're not free to move when they're in the solid phase, but they're free to move when they're dissolved or when they're liquefied. And of course, things that are made of sugar or anything that's made of nonmetals cannot conduct electricity in solution because they're not made of charges. They don't break apart into ions. So salts, ionic compounds, are electrolytes. Same electrolytes, of course, that conduct electricity throughout our body. That's the reason why we have to have some in our uh, bodies.